this video, we will start with the trapezium rule. You will find this on page 534 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The trapezium rule. Integration is the best way to find the area between a curve and the axis. The exact area A under the curve Y equals FX between the two points say X is A and X is B can be found by evaluating finding the integral between B and A of the function. But integration can sometimes be hard or impossible to do. In this situation, a numerical method called the trapezium rule can be used and it will give an approximate answer, just more or less. Instead of approximating the area by using rectangles, you approximate the area by using trapeziums. That's where the rule comes from. Okay, so let's look at an example and let's look at the difference. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that you can see. Okay, let's start. Area under a curve, okay, this is now the correct, the exact value, integration. Find the area of the shaded region. It's between 5 and 1, and there is my equation. I integrate, I substitute, so the exact answer is 41 and 3, 1 third units square. Okay, now do the same with the same formula, but use the trapezium rule to estimate the shaded. Now, it's just breaking up all of them into trapeziums. Again, the more trapeziums, the more accurate. The less trapeziums, the less accurate. Okay, what is the formula from grade 10, 11, 9 to find the area of a trapezium? It's half height, sum of parallel sides. So let's break it up. Let's start with A. So it's a half, 2 minus 1, that is your height, and your parallel sides is this 2. And if you look there, you will see that that one is 4 and 1. Do you see there? Okay, what is the area of B? But, but now check, it's 3 minus 2, that's my height. But now take note, I want to use another color. Take note, I'm repeating this side twice. Okay, and I get 6.5. Look at C, let's see if my colors keep. So it's, that is my parallel sides. Do you see that? And my, my height is still that difference between four. Then the last one, in, that's my parallel sides. Okay, I want you to take note before I go on that this middle sides is having two stripes. Do you see? And the beginning and the end is just having one. Just keep it in mind. Note the vertical middle sides 4, 9, and 16 are used twice, which I indicate there with the sides. Okay, so the total area I just added up. Okay, but now that was the normal long way. But there's a rule, and the rule is half of 1, okay, because the, the, it was 1 every time. I'll show you now. But now look, it was 1, 1 was just once, but the middle sides, the one with, with two stripes, do you see? How many times was that repeated? Two times, and then the last side, and that. So, okay, now compare. I get 42, but the correct answer is 41 and a third. So, can you see? It's approximately, um, approximately, and it's, it's more or less the same answer. Okay, now we can move, move on. The sum of the areas of all trapezium shaped strips give an approximate value for the area under the curve, and hinge an approximate value for this. So, this is the exact, but that other one gives an approximate. So in the diagram, there are four, four strips, each of worth H, where H is B minus 8, B minus 8, and how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why I divide it by 4. If it's only two parts, I will divide it by 2. That's how I get H. And the length of the vertical edges, they call it the ordinates of the stripes are, this is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Um, four. The sum of the areas of the trapezium-shaped strips now, you take the value of h, that's how you got h, you divide it by 2 because it's a half, and then you start by saying it's 0 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 4. Now, I want you to take note that every time I'm repeating this, do you see, I repeat, 
and this, and I repeat, and the last one is not repeated. And this is how I derive the trapezium rule. Okay, so it's, it's the first one, two times the middle ones, and then the last one, and h divide 2, and this is how I determine it. Okay, but let's go on. It's always better to see an example. But I first want to make just a quick summary, and then I will look at an example. Okay. So let's just say, when there are n strips and the vertical edges are this, and hn, then the sum of the areas of the strips, and there I showed you all, okay? So hence we can find an approximate value of this by using the trapezium rule. This is just written out, okay? Here is the rule. So it's h over 2, the first one, plus double, two times the middle ones, plus the last one. And this is how I determine it. It's the further point. It's usually this, do you see there, that, minus that, and divide by n, how many strips. So if it's four parts, four. If it's two parts, two. If it's three parts, three. And then, then remember the trapezium rule like this. Easy way to remember the rule of the or, um, ordinates, vertical edges, is half width of stripe, okay, multiply first, twice the sum of the others plus loss. Okay, but let's look at an example. Let's see how we apply this now. I want to see if I need it. I think, yeah, then it's fitting nice. Okay, let's start. The diagram shows the curve. There is the curve. Use the trapezium rule. So, you will only do it when they tell you to do it, okay, in the exams. So if they just, say, find the area and it, you see, in, then it's just normal integration. But if they tell you, you must do it, not with integration, but with the trapezium rule. Usually, um, the integrations will also, also be too difficult. You will not be able, you don't know the rules of that integration. To estimate the shaded, give you, and they will say the word estimate. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, now remember A, A, A is the first one, that's A. B is, is the end, okay, and N is the amount of strips, okay. So in this case, and they told you two intervals, so that is why N is 2. So I say 4 minus 2 divide 2 and I get 1. Now, to get this um, what we, we said, to get uh, to find the y coordinates, uh, the ordinates, okay? I'm just going to break it up. So it's 2, 3, 4. I must work out this y values by using my original formula. So just go put in the formula 2. So it's 2 squared minus 2 is the square root of 2. And then uh, 3 squared, so it's 9 minus, um, um, 3 times 3, 9 minus 2, it's the square root of 7. Then 3 uh, three, um, 3 times 3, okay, and that is going to be, oh, it's 4. I want to say that's 7 again. So it's 4 squared minus 2, and that's 16 minus 2, and that's 14. And now, I just think that on the reprint, I will check this, because I prefer that this one stands just there. So in, 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 if I reprint the book, I will rather write it like this. I don't know why I wrote it like that. So, oh, sorry, can I just go? So y is 0 plus 2y1 plus y2. Okay, so it's the first and the last and then the middle ones twice. And now, in this case, there's not going to be so. It's actually only that one that will have two stripes. Okay, and then it's 1, the a value of h, over 2, and then you can just add and two times the middle one and that. And you can just press it on your calculator to get your final answer. So the width of this strip is the interval along the x-axis. Are you with me? So this h is the width. That's, that's uh, in, to determine h. The number of ordinates is one more than the number of strips. So if they say there's two intervals, how many ordinates were there? One, two, three. Do you see? That's what they mean. You should not use uh, this numerical method when an algebraic method is available to use, unless you are specifically um, to do so. Then you will do it. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and just as a start, I just want you to do number A. 
Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number one. Use the trapezium rule with two intervals to estimate the value of each of the definite integrals. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, so 2, 0, 1 over x3 plus 1 dx. Okay, now to get, oh, there's a few things I must get before I start with the rule. Uh, A is the beginning, so it's the bottom. B is the end. Okay, N is the number of intervals. And then H, remember, what, can you remember what was it? It's, it's going to be B minus, let's say, B minus A over N. And that, move it a little bit, that is going to be 2 minus 0 over that N, 2. And the value of H in this case is just going to be 1. Okay. And to put a little bit stop. Okay. Now I prefer to do a table. Then it's then it's more like in a picture for me. And it's not so difficult then to see. You can work it out individually and just work. I'm just going to use a table. Sorry, and I'm going to show you a few things there. Okay. Okay. And now I'm just going to say. Okay, so this is going to be. Let's make it green. This is x, this is y, and there I will just um, write my different y zeros in this. Okay. Now, if it starts at zero, and I say two intervals, so let's do zero, okay? Um, yes. And then I'm going to do one, and I'm going to do two. There's my two. So from zero to one to two, okay? because it's only up to two. Now, I'm going to use my normal formula, this formula. So it's y is equal to 1 over x3 plus 1, and that's 1 over, and now I put in 0, 3 plus 1, and that is going to give me uh, 1 over 1 is equal to 1. Okay, then it's y is equal to 1, and now I can just substitute 1, 3 plus 1, so it's 1 over 1 plus 1, it's 2. And then y is equal to 1 over, and now it's 2, so 2, 3, plus 1, and that's 1 over, 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. And you can leave it like that. It's better to leave it unsimplified in this middle step. Then don't forget that this is going to be the 0. This is going to be 1. And this is going to be 2. Okay, and now I can basically start. So I start with using my formula, so I can say the area. Okay, what will I use yellow? Area equals h over 2. I'm just going to write, so it's the first one plus, and remember this is the middle one, so double Second one, this is my second. So this is actually y0, y1, y2, plus my third one. And that is going to be, remember h, so it's going to be 1 over 2. And this is going to be 1 plus 2, a half, plus that 1 over 9. Now I can just, I can first make, but because they said three decimal places, I can then just go and quickly simplify that. Okay, so if you press this on your calculator, I got, actually, I got this in, in terms of a decimal, um, let's just say, I got uh, 1 and 1 over 18, and that was equal to 1 point. Because if you press that on oh, I just want to find my calculator, Okay, 1 divide 18 plus 1. I got 1.0555, so it's 1.06, and then units square. And that, let's just go to the question again. 
Yes, uh, give your answer correct to three significant. So they want me to three significant, so don't stop there. Go on, press it on the calculator and get your three significant answer.